भगवते वासुदेवाय कृष्णाय सच्चिदानंदाय परम गुरु ओम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरुव नम ध्यान मूल गुरु मूर्ति पूजा मूल गुरु पद मंत्र मूल गुरुर्वाक्य मोक्ष मूल गुरु कृपा गुरु महाराज की जय शिव टुडे वी आर टेकिंग द सिक्सटी वन स्टेंजा और चैप्टर 18 श्रीमद् भगवत गीता इन दिस स्टेंजा द सदगुरु इज टेलिंग द ईश्वर ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट इन एवरी लिविंग बींग्स हार्ट एंड इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्स ईश्वर सर्वूता हृदेशे अर्जुन ठति भ्रामय सर्वूता भ्रामय सर्वूता भ्रामय सर्वूता यंत्रूढ़ाया हृदय से अर्जुन ठति भ्रामय सर्वूता यंत्रूढ़ा मया ईश्वर सर्वूता हृदेशे अर्जुन ठति भ्रामय सर्वूता यंत्रूढ़ा मया मै डियर अर्जुन ईश्वर इट मीन्स द एक्जिस्टेंस विच इज लिविंग इन साइड ऑफ यू That is called Ishwar. Sarvabhuta na in all living beings, radheshe in the heart, tishtati presents, Brahmayan wandering then them sarvabhuta ni all living beings, yantra rudani. Climbing on the body machine, Maya, yeah, by his Maya, by his natural mesmerism. My dear Arjun, Ishwara, the form of existence, presents in the heart of all living beings, and. the maya put on 
जीवास ऑन लिविंग बींग्स ऑन द बॉडी मशीन एंड वॉन्डरिंग देम मैनी मैनी बॉडीज बट ईश्वर इज इम्पॉर्शियल माई डियर फ्रेंड दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्स ऑफ गीता द सदगुरु सच्चिदानंद परमात्मा द ओमनी प्रेजेंस एंड ओमनी पोर्टेंट एंड लिविंग in all the universes uncountable and the galaxies uncountable he is only and only consciousness of the all creation he is only and only the love in all creation he is only and only supreme divinity of all creation because by his existing presence everywhere the creation is in the function otherwise not because he is the base and installation of all universes and the galaxies even in the atom also my dear friend the life and the matter both cannot be registered without the sachidananda parmatma presence so parmatma is called existence but the existence has many many type of form every jiva every living being is the form of the existence the nature and the natural things and the matter and the energy and the ether and every everything even the sky fire wind every everything that is only based on the sachidananda parmatma existence but all of you knows the shining and the image you can see only your face in the mirror you cannot see your the your face on the ball or on a stone because the stone is not having that quality of reflection of so the reflection of the god presence and the experience of the god's presence that is only in heart and heart which type of heart heart must be pure if the mirror have a dust on his surface a dust layer cover the mirror you cannot see the face on the mirror when the mirror is clean and crystal then you can see the face you cannot see the face exactly on the surface of a lake if the surface of the lake is full of waves because your mind is always full of the waves of the thoughts so you cannot see the face of your real existing god inside my dear arjun i want to tell you something the existence is impartial and living everywhere so he is called brahma the existence is only truth of this world is so he called true sat true the existence is only consciousness of this world so he is called 
chitta. The existence is only the base of all feelings, base of the love, base of the sensory stimulation, sensations, base of all knowing. So he is called Ananda. But existence is living in the heart of every living being. And that presence of the existence in the heart is called Ishwara. And he is called Rishi Kesha also. It means Rishi means heart or Kesha means liver. And at the first time when the seeker feels the God, feel the existence, that place is his heart. So the Ishwara is called Dilvara. So Ishwara is called Antaryami living in, inside but he is omnipresence. As the light of the sun is omnipresence in the day, but you can see the light by your eyes. You cannot see the light by your ear. The same thing is that you can see the God inside of your heart. That is the, not exactly God, but that is the God's impression or as your face you see in the mirror. But even he is presence in your heart, but he is impartial. He is only witness. He never disturb in the any activity of the Maya. And he never interfere in your work. So the jiva mesmerized by the maya and fully controlled in the maya and by the illusion he think that he has the birth. By the confusion, illusion he think that he is growing like a young person and he is thinking that this is mine, this is mine, this is my wife, this is my husband, this is my child, this is my home, this is my motorcycle, this is my car. And this type of possessiveness created by the Maya in the mind of the Jiva and the Jiva think that physical body is his form, he do not know the Ishwara. He do not know his soul. He do not know his internal existence. He only know that body is he or her. So this, this type of confusion, this type of illusion, this type of misunderstanding is the base of the wandering of the jiva in the millions of the death and birth cycle. So the Krishna is telling in this Sistenja, Brahmyanta Sarva Bhutani. Brahmyanta, it means a boundary. The elliptical movement, Sarva Bhutani, all living beings. Yantra Rudani, Yantra Rudani, it means a person is sitting on any vehicle or machine, and that machine is Moving here and there, the person think that he is moving here and there. He is not moving, machine is moving. So the body machine, many many bodies like a machine, they moves here and there. And that person think that he is moving. So this mesmerism of the Maya 
give the concrete assurance to the jiva that he is a body, he is a mind, he is an intellect, he is a mood, and he has some ego. And this type of false assurance is called a jnana. As you go in the in the uh, places there is the swing, the round round swing. You sit on the swing and swing, move round. And you enjoy that swing. But here is some more bad condition. A person sitting in the swing of the bodies and he think that he is a swing. So this type of internal senses antahkarna, the micro body, that is the cause of misunderstanding of the death and birth. But Ishwar never interfere in your journey or your mesmerism. Because you are not introduced with the presence of existence inside. Ishwar is not doer. Doer is the jiva. So eveler also jiva. So the person think that Ishwar, the God is doer. They are in the foolish thinking. My dear friend, the Ishwara is the pure form of the Sachidananda Paramatma, but the illusion is a very weak. The illusion is very deep. The sedation is very deep. The sedation is comes from the Maya. And the Maya create a next mesmerism in the mind of the Jiva. He say that if you do any karma, that you will avail karma. But that is the innocent jiva do not know that he do not do karma. Maya do karma, every karma Maya do and impose on the jiva. Jiva think I am doing. So he is caught as a person not do any crime but the circumstances create a misunderstanding in the mind of the karma or mind of the person that he do the crime, so he think I am a criminal. Once upon a time, a person was very angry to angry to his enemy, and he shoot that person. But unfortunately, his bullet was miss, and somebody shoot that person from the backside. But that person think that I shoot that person and unfortunately that person which is a shoot, he is at, on the spot died and the police caught that person and police ask, do you shoot it, it him? That person say, yes I am. But he was innocent. So this type phenomena in all the jiva's life. The maya is doing all the things and the jiva think he is doing. And this mesmerism, when he think he is doer, so he is taking the unnecessary burden of the karmas. Even he is not responsible for the karmas. Even the maya is responsible. So that person is Climbing on this uh, yantra, this machine, the machine of the maya. And the machine of the maya is the body. The machine of the maya is the bodies. As you see, 
that car has two layers one layer is outside layer of the car and one layer is in inside of the car and that there is a passenger is sitting in the car so this uh, body like a car and innocent jiva is caught in this car and the maya is the driver and the maya is driving here and there and imposing unnecessary responsibility on the jiva and jiva is in the sedation of the maya and jiva think he is doing all these things and jiva is even he is innocent but he think that I am the doer and I am the accuser, my dear friend. Ishwar cannot do any help of that person because Ishwar knows that all game is false because he is nowhere inside. And the jiva is only the impression, shadow of the Ishwar. Jiva is not jiva. Jiva is also a illusion. Real thing is that Ishwar is truth. Jiva is only the impression, all the mirror image. Jiva is only the mirror image of the Satchidananda Paramatma. And all of you think that you are Jiva, but there is no any Jiva. There is only Satchidananda Paramatma. But you cannot understand, him, understand because the illusion of the Maya is very, very sedative. Very sedative and very, very hypnosis. It is hypnotic illusion of the Maya. My dear friends, may I help you to come out you from this illusion? That's why I am giving you a meditation of awareness that you can come out from your mesmerism, your hypnotism, your illusion and you can stand in your pure and purest form that is Ishwara, that is Satchidananda Paramatma. If anyone want to help me, I want to give help him free of cost, without any return. If anyone want to know the Ishwara inside, the existence inside, the God inside, I will help. Because The person who is awake can awake other sleepy person. A person who, who is the sleeping, he cannot awake to anyone. So I am awakened person and I can awake all of you if you want. If you want, I will give you my precious technology of meditation and, and my assistance then you can be in light very soon. If you do not want to in light, don't, be care, don't care. If you do this meditation which is I am teaching, the meditation of awareness, then only four or five months, if you do this meditation honestly, then you feel the tenselessness and peacefulness, peacefulness in your heart. The Maya sedation will be not affect on you if you do this meditation. My dear friend, when you do this meditation and you free from all illusions, then you will be safe. Then you will be safe from tension created diseases that is very dangerous in your life. That diseases can be broken your life meaningless for the meaningless things. The tension is ha has no waste. 
Tension is an illusion. But the tension is too much effective in the brain of a person that hypothetical tension may kill a person by the brain hemorrhage or the heart attack or the heart fail or the nervous breakdown. When you do this meditation, then you can come out from all the tensions and you can feel the peacefulness in your life. What a precious gift, the peace. Nobody can purchase the peace by the millions and billions of rupees or dollars. But I am giving you peace without any cost, free of cost. When you do this meditation, then you will not caught in angina, heart attack, blood pressure, brain hemorrhage, failure of organs and sleeping disorders and many many diseases. So that's why you can save your lot of money and you can prevent your bodily pain and mental pain and unpleasant condition. You are always live in the pleasant and peaceful condition by this meditation. Second thing is that if you do this meditation, you can save yourself from the phobia, mania, schizophrenia, depression or suicidal attack. So you can save yourself from the mental diseases and there is no need to go in the mental hospital or physical hospitals, general hospitals. When you do this meditation, I will give you a very nice awareness to see inside. Then you can see your anger. When anger comes, you can see the anger and you detach from the anger. And anger will not compel you. Anger will, anger will not make you like a man. And you will not do any crime in the effect of the anger. All of you knows what is the crime anger brings. Cutting, murder, killing, fighting, broken the legs and hands and hair and etc. Neither you will involve in the crime or nor you will be victim of the any crime. If you do this meditation of awareness, you can see the lust impartially and separately and you will not caught in the lust. So you will not involve in the crime against women. So the women of this world will be safe. The child, female child, the girls, women, they will be safe from any type of danger, even the rape, murder and other and other. So our world's better half, the world's pop half population that will be happy when you do this meditation and they will they also do the meditation they will be avail the same benefits of the meditation when you do this meditation the grid will come and you can see the grid and you can not involve in economic crimes so this world will be free from the physical diseases mental diseases emotional imbalance that all the negativity will wash away and all the positivity will stand and the love, mutual understanding, brotherhood, peacefulness, cooperation that will be remain and how this world will fight each other never, never will fight. The societies, the nations, they will become very peaceful, calm and cool and loving and the bar will go out from this world forever and we have no need of the establishment of big huge armies. We only need one army for the rascals and demons because they never understand the sweet word. They understand only the force. 
my dear friend to seeing all this aspect and the benefits we decide we will spread this meditation all over the world in the service of the mankind and this meditation is not religious meditation it is not belongs to any religion it is belongs to almighty god omnipresence and that god is one and that god is for all so every religion slightly or strongly comes from the gods right but the human is confused so he make impurity in the religions so every religion religious person and non religious person of every every country's person without any prejudiceness can accept this meditation like the science invention car wrist watch torch etc so this meditation is an instrument of the peace and happiness and enlightenment also i want to request you please join by mission the name of mission is but peace by meditation and the meditation of awareness i am invited inviting you all of you please be the teacher of this meditation and be the masters my dear friend you will see within very short time we can change this world and we can wash out all the negativity and painful condition from this world the world will become more than beautiful heaven love you very much bless you very much my dear friends we are one soul one existence one love i want to say if you like my discourses please subscribe my channel on youtube swami sachidananda Thank you very much.